Hi everyone. Welcome to the last part of interpretation of financial, uh, sorry, ROCE. So in this questions, we are going to once again discuss how to calculate and interpret ROCE when you're comparing with the sector average. Already I have shared one video in my YouTube channel relating how you have to interpret ROC when you're comparing with sector average. We're doing that one more time. So that you have a sound understanding on how to interpret ROC. So as you can see, Bunn's company ROC is 26.9, whereas sector average, it is 18.6. So Bunn's company ROCA is more than its sector average. So when will ROC be higher? It can be due to two reasons. Reason number one, operating profit is higher. Or reason number two, capital employed is lower. So now let's check whether operating profit is higher. Yes, because see the second ratio operating margin of bonds is 12.5 as compared to the sector average of 8.6. So one of the reason for higher ROCE is better operating margin, higher margin compared to sector. Now let's compare if there is anything with respect to capital employed. So now just read the question. Bun is a bakery which owns two shops. Over the last two years, company has experiencing declining profitability due to increased competition. So directors wish to investigate if this is a sector wide problem and they've calculated equivalent ratios. So this ratio, some of these ratios you have to calculate, but that calculation is not our discussion part. Our discussion part is how to interpret. So there are a few other relevant information given. In X6, one accurate popular brand name. At 31st December X7, the brand represented 20% of known current asset. So in X6, when one acquire another organization, as you're aware in my last part, I've told you how to interpret ROC when there is acquisition. When there is acquisition, all the assets of the target of the accurate company becomes the acquisition, becomes the assets of that company that acquired it. So the assets will be higher. So if assets is higher, that means capital employed will be higher. If capital employed is higher, ROC will be lower because the denominator and ratio are inversely related. But our ROC is higher. So that's, that is not the reason. So we, should, we cannot comment on that. But there is another reason why operating margin might be higher because they have acquired a popular brand name. If you are in India, if it's, it's basically coffee shop, cafes, there is cafe coffee day. So if you're acquiring cafe coffee day, which is a, a chain having thousand plus coffee shop, it's a popular brand name in India. Or if you're acquiring Starbucks, or if you're acquiring Costa coffee, so popular brand name. So definitely what will happen, the profits of the other company will be included in your profits as well. So now we got a reason why your operating margin might be higher because you have a you have accurate popular brand name that popularity might have drawn your profits that acquisition of a popular brand name might have drawn your profits through the roof increased your profit and there can be another reason 80 percentage of known current asset consists of property from which one operates its shops this property is owned by Bun Company. So when these properties are owned by Bun Company, Bun Company won't have to pay any rent. So they are saving on rent, which again further increases their operating margin, which will again result in higher ROCE and has no directly associated finance. So they don't have a finance, they don't have any loan. So if they don't have any loan, if you have been attending or watching my videos, you know that capital employed, there is one more ratio, one more formula. Capital employed is equal to equity plus known current liability. So if you don't have a known current liability, your capital employed will be lower 
So your ROC might be much higher. Maybe other organization in the sector might be uh, running on a property that has been financed through a lease, maybe, maybe through a bank loan. We don't know. And the year ended 31st December X7, one began offering discounted meals. So this discounted meals might have increased, might have increased their profits because that might have bought more customers and thereby increasing their profits. So if you have attended my classes at Kaplan School of Accountancy and Management, you will remember we have done this entire question September, December 2019. We have calculated all the ratios. We have discussed all the entire question paper and we have discussed how to interpret all those ratios. But in this discussion, I'm only focusing on how to interpret ROCE. And we have done that. And with this quick revision classes spanning six videos on how to interpret ROC, I hope you have find all the six videos useful. I hope you have understood how to interpret ROC and how to score maximum marks. So that's all everyone. So in my next video, I'll be up uploading how you have to interpret net asset turnover ratio. So stay tuned and subscribe to this channel. And if you really like this video, please share with this your friends and uh, in your WhatsApp groups or in your uh, Facebook groups so that others will also get benefited. Thank you everyone. And all the best for your upcoming ACCA financial reporting examination. If you want to know more about my upcoming classes, you can follow me on my Instagram channel, Learn with Basil Nilamra. Thank you, everyone. All the best for your ACCA financial reporting examination.